looking to see if there's someone like you doing something that you're interested in doing, you know? And as a young girl, I really wasn't focused on fashion. I thought I'd be an architect or something like that. I thought I had to do something more technical, you know? And um, I learned that that wasn't necessarily so. And when I first came to New York, um, my eyes were really open to the breadth of the industry. Um, but I was looking for our place in it. You know, a lot of it boils down to finance. I mean, having, you know, proper financial backing to set up a true business that has the opportunity to reach buyers all across this country and around the world, it, it takes deep pockets. And that's something that, you know, we haven't had a lot of in our community or, you know, we haven't had access to um, those, you know, kind of tiers of power and, and, and commerce. So I think that that's something that we have to work on as a people, as a race, and we have to, you know, also be taken more seriously by the commercial community. I think that it's been difficult. I mean, when I first started my business, my father uh, provided the initial startup money, and then I had to go out and get loans, and, you know, I did a lot of paper writing, you know, a lot of business planning and had to, you know, have a lot of financial assistance because I didn't have business training, you know, and that's usually what a banker wants to see or a financial person. But it's a kind of closed industry, you know, people who control the dollars, um, they don't always want to take a risk on an unknown. You really have to prove yourself. And it's difficult as a person of color to rise through the ranks high enough to grab the attention of the people that are holding the purse strings.